evening, guys. Pastor Joel here. Um, I just wanted to touch base with you guys and kind of share a couple things. Um, this morning, I was going through Joshua with my boys, and we were finishing Joshua chapter 1. And you may remember in Joshua chapter 1, it was, um, Joshua is a kind of newly installed leader of Israel. And um, there's a lot of difficult external circumstances going on, and just things going on in the nation. And his leaders came around him, and they gave him a word of encouragement. And as the chapter ended, they told him, only be strong and courageous. And I was thinking about that a little bit. You know, um, that, that command to be strong and courageous. And as you know, we, like Joshua, are in the midst of some very difficult external circumstances. Right? There's a lot of strange things going on. There's a... Um, we're just in a, in, a, in a difficult time. You know, on one hand, we hear, oh, it's not a big deal. It's going to be over in a couple weeks. You know, just wash your hands in Netflix. Things are going to be fine. And then on the other hand, we hear things like, you know, projected 50 to 70% of Americans are going to get the COVID virus. And there's a 4.3% mortality rate. And projected up to possibly 4 million people are going to die. And so we hear these conflicting um, reports, and we're kind of like, well, what do we do? You know, are we going to are we gonna be in quarantine for the next four months and we can't get a haircut until the 4th of July? Or are we going to be back to normal by Easter? And we just, we just don't know. And I suspect that the truth probably lies somewhere in the middle, as it usually does. It probably the naysayers are wrong and the extremists are wrong. And, and the truth resides somewhere in the middle. But what I want to say is this. Ultimately, you know, it doesn't really matter what happens. I mean, in the short term, sure, it matters. Right? I mean, there's going to be loss of life. There's going to be financial difficulties. There's going to be tragedy. There's going to be hard times. But in the big picture... It doesn't matter that much in that God is still in control. You know, as I've said throughout this time, and I'll probably continue to say through the rest of the crisis, my mantra sort of is God is still on the throne. He's still in control. He hasn't changed. His position hasn't changed. Our position as the people of God hasn't changed. And our calling as the church hasn't changed. All those things remain the same. And um, so I just want to encourage you guys not to lose heart in the midst of these difficult times. Not to panic. Not to get consumed by fear. And also I want to just kind of put this thought in your mind. You know, we live in a culture right now that is so busy all the time. Like never before in history. We're constantly on the go, this and this and this. And, and um, all of a sudden that's changed. All of a sudden we have time. You know, so often people say, you know, I want to spend time with the Lord. I just, I just don't have time. Well, now you do. Now you have time to study the word. Now you have time to spend time in prayer. Now you have time to, to, to dig deep. And also you have time to be the church. And I encourage you to do that during this time. It's true that we can't gather together in the Acts 2.42 fashion, right? We can't, we can't pray together. We can't fellowship together. We can't break bread together. We can't worship together right now. But we can still do those things with each other in a sense. So I encourage you just to use this time to reach out to people in the church. I mean, we have Facebook Messenger. You have FaceTime. And you can write a letter. You can pick up the phone. But just stay in contact with your church body. Don't let yourself, you know, we're, we're social distancing. We're, 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 we're physically isolating. But don't let yourself isolate spiritually. Don't let yourself isolate emotionally. Stay connected with the people of God. Um, and on that note, I want to encourage you guys, if you have any prayer requests, 
and send them into the church office. The um, email address is info at ccedmonds.com. Make sure and get those prayer requests out so that we can be praying for you. And if you're having a hard time, don't, don't be afraid to pick up the phone. Don't be afraid to give us a call. You know, let us minister to you. And, you know, some of you guys, I know that there are at least four cases of, uh, four positive cases of COVID-19 in the church right now. Um, there's a lot of other people who have compromised immune systems who don't feel safe to go out right now. Um, if that's you and you need something, let us know. Let the church know. Now we'd be happy to, to run to the store for you, to drop stuff off for you. We have people who want to serve. We have resources. We just need to know what the needs are. So if you have those needs, please let us know so that we can, we can be the body of Christ to you. So that we can be the church to one another. So anyway, I just want to give you guys that encouragement, that exhortation. And um, seek the Lord, be strong in Him, and don't lose heart.